everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to back up and restore a user profile in Communicator 5. First, you want to go ahead and open Communicator 5. This is the blue and white icon on your desktop. Next, push your finger and hold your finger down on the screen for about 5 seconds and then let go. This will bring up the quick menu. Go ahead and click on Advanced Settings. From here, there are some tabs at the top. Go ahead and click on the User Setup tab. Below this, go ahead and click Import slash Export. From here, you have two options. The first option is to export the selected settings and data, and the second option is to import selected settings and data. Import will restore your user. Export will back up your user. In this instance, we're going to go ahead and click Export and hit Next at the bottom. Once this page comes up, you have three options, Standard Export, Full Export, and Custom Export. I recommend that you choose Full Export. The other options aren't really necessary at this time. I'm going to go ahead and select Full Export and hit Next at the bottom. From here, you want to go ahead and name the archive. Below the name, you have the archive folder. This is the folder that you want to save your backup in. To search for the folder, click on Browse and select the folder location. If you're using a flash drive, you can also click your flash drive from here. Tap on where you want it to go and click OK. Then hit Next at the bottom of the page. This will go ahead and create your archive. Go ahead and click Finish at the bottom. And if you selected a flash drive as the backup location, the backup is already on that flash drive. If you saved your backup to a folder on your computer, go ahead and check that folder and make sure that backup is there. If it is, go ahead and open a web browser. Once you open a web browser, go ahead and go to mytobydynavox.com and click login at the top right of the page. From here, Go ahead and enter your credentials. And select Login. From here, under My Stuff, you should see Communicator. If you don't see Communicator, scroll down under More Stuff, select Communicator, and hit Add to My Stuff at the top right. Since I already have Communicator added, I'm going back to the home page under My Stuff and clicking Communicator. From here, I'm going to click on the Backups tab and hit Upload Backup at the top right corner. From here, I'm going to hit Choose File and select my file location as well as the Backup and click Open. I'm going to title the backup. I can enter a description if I want to as well. And then I will hit upload down at the bottom left. Once this uploads, click OK. And now your backup is saved to my Toby Danavox.